The power of rune course will teach you the origin and meaning of runes, the house of Freya, how to use runes, stones and cards, the house of Agal, rune casting, stones and rune cards, the house of Tyre, the twelve houses and their meanings, responsibility as a rune counsellor. The rune alphabet was introduced to us by Scandinavians about 2000 years ago. Because in ancient times written communication was non-existent, symbols or pictures were used to convey messages and stories. This method of communication might be compared with that of Stone Age markings or those of ancient Egyptians on the walls of their temples and pyramids. Norse mythology has it that the god Odin, whilst endeavouring to find out the secrets of life and death, hung himself upside down from the world ash tree by piercing himself with his spear in order to suspend himself from the tree. Whilst suspended in this position, he noticed stones on the ground beneath him with particular markings. Even though in considerable pain, he managed to grasp them, interpret them and discover their secrets. These rune stones contain secrets which Odin made available in order that mankind might benefit. The North European nomadic tribes employed rune masters to accompany them in order to guide, inspire and advise them as they travelled. Runes and their inscriptions were inscribed on a variety of portable objects, wood, small stones, bones, in fact anything that could be easily carried around. Rune masters were revered in the same way that spiritual advisors are today, as messengers of the truth. The word rune comes from the Norse word run, which translated is interpreted as secret writing. This has similarities with the English word raun, the Gothic word runa, and the German word raun, all of which are interpreted as secrets or secret whisper. It therefore stands to reason that the runes revealed secrets and should not be taken lightly. In many ways they are more powerful and inspirational than any other means of divination. Many other ways of divination are dependent on psychic intuition. Whilst some measures of this is of course necessarily when translating runes, runes in themselves have more subtle meaning. The runes are more precise in detailing problems than possibly any other method of divination. Runes consist of 25 designs or markings each one separate and individual. The oldest translation of the runes is based on the rune alphabet, known as the Furfark, because it comes to the literal sound when spoken of all the first six letters of the rune alphabet. The runes comprise of three sets or houses, with eight runes in each set, plus an extra being blank. This is sometimes referred to as the 25th, each of the eight sets of runes is dedicated to a Norse god. They are Freya's et, Hagel's et, and Tyre's et. The 25th rune has no markings, and while some rune masters do not use this rune, it is believed to be the rune of fate. Although some rune masters believe Perfo, Hagel's et, is the true rune of fate. The problem with divination with runes is to relate one rune to another rune. This is where psychic intuition is necessary. Meditation is necessary prior to a rune reading, but as counselling is explained in assignment 6, this will be left until then. You may either purchase a set of rune stones or cards, or make your own runes by collecting 25 flashy stones or pebbles and marking them with paint with the appropriate designs. Names, messages and interpretations will follow in later assignments. The 25 designs and markings are Set 1 Freya's et Fehu Urus Furifaz Anzus Raidu Kainaz Gebu Wonyu Set 2 Hagel's 8 Hagelaz Nauzis Isa, Yeira, Iquaz, Perfro, Elgaz, Solo, Set Free, Tyres Et, Tiwaz, 
Burkanu, Hikwaz, Manaz, Lagos, Ingwaz, Ufila, Dagaz. The stone or pebbles you select should be flattish, about a quarter of an inch thick and one and a half inches approximately in diameter. You should get some metallic paint and a paintbrush from a model shop. You will also need a strong cloth bag with a drawstring, about 6 inches deep and 6 inches wide, in which to put your runes. Should you prefer, you can either purchase rune cards or alternatively make your own on very thick white cards, each about 3 inches by 5 inches in size. Your exercise is to acquire or make 25 rune stones or cards plus the following. Acquire a large white sheet or thick white card and draw a circle upon it about 2 feet in diameter. Draw in diagonals and mark the cloth like the picture. Well done on completing your first assignment on the origin of the runes. We hope that you continue to enjoy this course. Now all that remains to do is answer the questions and return your completed test paper for marking.